Good evening everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Roland Tagufa. Our topic is still about uh, Revit documentation and we are still in phase 1 uh, detailing your design. Now uh, our uh, topic that uh, we're going to discuss today is the second methodology uh, that is uh, uh, useful for creating detail. Number one is uh, we have created the uh, last time is about this hybrid detailing and now what we are going to discuss today is about this stand alone detailing and we have already defined that stand alone detailing uh, on our last topic uh, in our topic this uh, stand alone detailing is uh, uh, detailing refers to uh, creating detailed drawing outside 3d model environment what are we going to do today is uh, like this we're going to create this uh, uh, 2D drawing that is created in drafting view and what we have used here is uh, uh, this uh, some of these are families these are families like this that comes from our uh, family that is available in our uh, uh, Revit uh, families and some we have also created using this uh, detailed item. These are all detailed items that is available inside of our Revit. Guys, uh, before we continue, if you are new to my channel, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, let's get started. Now guys, uh, our Revit is open and uh, next that uh, we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna open this uh, project that uh, we have discussed earlier, uh, that sample project that uh, we have made. So I'll open it. This is sample project. And then uh, next that uh, are we going to do is we're going to open this uh, uh, drafting view. We're gonna make a drafting view. And then uh, we're gonna change this as uh, so our uh, uh, the name is uh, drafting. We'll name it drafting detail in what you call this one stand alone or stand alone drafting detail. We'll name it. And then uh, we will adopt the same scale. Okay. And then uh, it brings me into this uh, pure canvas. So this is uh, totally blank. And what are we going to do is we're going to make our drawings. So first, before we make our drawings, I want to, uh, what you call this one, load some families. So I'll go to this annotation. And in annotation, there is... Uh, what you call this uh, component so I'll go to component and I'll click this detail component so in detail component there is a load family what I'm going to do is I'm going to load those families that is needed uh, to create this uh, detail view one that I'm going to create is uh, our uh, uh, lumber uh, nominal cut lumber top so uh, I'm going to this uh, I'm going back and then click double click this English and then US and then I go to this detailed item so where is that detailed yeah this one detailed item and then uh, I'll uh, select this uh, wood and plastic and then uh, I'll go to this uh, uh, rough carpentry and then wood framing and then I'm going to select this, uh, what you call this, uh, nominal, uh, nominal cut lumber top. Nominal cup cut lumber top. So nominal cut lumber section side, this one. So 
So we have this top. We will going to select this uh, nominal cut and sections. We need to load those uh, families. So I'll go to this uh, top and open. And then uh, next that I'm going to do is I'm going to select our dimension. So I'll go to this. Uh, 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 what is this? Uh, 50. 50 by uh, 150. I'll select this 50 by 150 and then I'm going to select this uh, 50 by 250 just hold your control and then 50 by 250 and then again I'm going to select this uh, 50 by 300 and 50 by 350 and then OK Then uh, that is already loaded. Next that I'm going to do again is I'm going to load again another family. So I load another family. And uh, what I'm going to load this time is our nominal cut lumber sections. So we have this sections, even side is available also. Top, top, side, and section. So we're going to use this lumber section also. So I'll click this and then open. So next that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select this 50 by 150 section and then this uh, same that we have uh, uh, selected before this is a uh, 50 by 250 and then uh, 50 by uh, 300 oh I I'm wrong that is 25 so this is 50 by 150 50 by 250, 50 by 300, and 50 by 350, and then OK. And then uh, next that uh, we're gonna do, I just uh, click Escape, and then I'm going to s again uh, go back to our section that we have created earlier. So I'll go to this level one, level one. And then uh, this is the sections that we have created and here uh, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to measure this or we're going to make this uh, detailed line so DL I just uh, create a detail line like this also this window where uh, it is uh, here so also detail line here I just uh, move this uh, away. Now, oh guys, uh, I'm going to again make a detail line DL, and uh, I'm going to create a detail line from this, from this one, and also here also where we're gonna place our lumber and our window and also here and also from this bottom and uh, also from this top and then our roof this is where uh, we're going uh, create our roof and then uh, next that time going to do is just uh, select all these things and copy to clipboard I'll just go to this modify and then uh, copy copy to clipboard I'll copy it and then I'm going to paste it here in this uh, uh, drafting views so I'll paste it and paste to clipboard and then I'll just uh, Paste it here. Okay, again, I'll just uh, paste the clipboard and here it is. Then uh, these are all uh, the things that I'm going to do. We're gonna make this uh, first level up to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going back to this uh, stand alone and I'm going to create this uh, uh, wood our our size here is uh, the 
uh, here from there we're going to check the size this is 0.30 so we're gonna make this 0.30 or 30 mm or 300 mm so i'll go to this uh annotate and i'll go to this uh component and in component i go to this detail item and then i'll select this uh, uh top view 350 by 300 and i'm going to drag this going up and then uh, next that i'm going to do is uh again uh, i need to again uh, select this I'll, I'll i'm going to make this one this one up to here so our line here is uh, here from there so I'll make this uh, line uh, this, this one is around 150 so I'll go back here and again I'm going to load I'm going to this detail component and I'm going to select this uh, 150 up and uh, I'll make it up to here oh here maybe up to here and there and I need to move it a little bit because uh, later on I'm going to make this uh, and then again uh, this uh, uh, what you call this gypsum board here I'll place this gypsum board here and gypsum board also there so next that I'm going to do is uh, again go back to this uh, uh, component and again I'll place this uh, detailed item detailed component and from detailed component I'll go to this section section 150 50 by 150 and I'll hit this uh, space bar and place it here and I place it also here and at uh, select I'll just align it align here and align there and then again I'll go back to that uh, uh, annotation and go to this uh, component again and I'll place this one uh, uh, section 250 this one 50 by 250 and again space bar and I place it here and I'll just set this space bar and then I place it here and then it's okay so I think this size is not exactly 150 so I'll just uh, go back to this edit and make it 0.15 and apply and then also those uh, section is not also exactly 150 and make it 1.5.15 then apply and then uh, I'll align it align and also this is this this align it here then there next is uh, we're gonna make this insulation I'll go back to this uh, untake and then insulations so I'll place these insulations here and also uh, we need to place another one there is also wood here and wood there and here so there is uh, two types of there are two two woods so same as this uh, wood that we have placed so make this uh, again uh, create similar and I place this uh, I just hit this tab and place it another one and I'll just place it there and again another one here I'll just place it anywhere because I cannot uh, select it right and then again there is another one here there is another one there 
So I'll place another one here where we place this uh, another one here, this tab. And then uh, again, let's check it. Okay. And then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make a uh, 300 here and here so I'll go back here and I'll just uh, take this uh, modify and then align then I align it here then I align this uh, one and again uh, hit escape and then align and then align this one then align then I align this and also this one align it align this one then I hit escape align it here Then again, uh, I think uh, we need to load family this gypsum board. We will load all the families. I think we haven't yet uh, load all the families, so I load all the families. I go back to this annotate, and then uh, go back to this uh, component, and then detailed item. I load this gypsum. I go back here, and then uh, back. I'll go to this finish, and then. Uh, I'll uh, select this uh, plaster and this gypsum and then I'll just select this gypsum board and then open and then uh, next is uh, I'm going to create a gypsum board just uh, place a gypsum board like this and then also a gypsum board here I just uh, need to move this move apply I think uh, because this one is uh, not in exact place just uh, also this one just move it and also this one also is not the uh, properly place then I align it line I align also this one Uh, okay, and then hit this uh, align twice. And it's it's a multiple. I just remove this multiple and then just align it once here. And then uh, I just move this. Yeah. Just move this. Okay. Now again, I'll create this gypsum board. Create similar. Then uh, place this gypsum board here. And also, I'll need to place uh, in uh, a gypsum board. This is a window, and this is also a window. And these are all. Uh, window window and then then this one also gypsum board this is also window and 
and then uh, I need to place this uh, one I need to place this uh, 350 by 300 wood I'll go to this wood again go back to this uh, annotate and then uh, component and then detail and I need to place this uh, wood 350 350 top and uh, I place it here and here also here I need to place this uh, uh, I just uh, go back to this. This one is aligned. AL or align. Just align it there. And then uh, I'll make this one uh, again a uh, component and need to place this gypsum uh, board. make this one create criminal create similar so that uh, they are the same of size and then I place this gypsum board here uh, make it clear and also this uh, again uh, wood I just put this component and I need to place this uh, wood uh, would uh, what is this uh, 150 top and then again this gypsum board so it's similar and then uh, like this and then uh, we need also this small one it's similar and uh, I place it here up and also here and then again I'll place some insulations Maybe insulations anywhere just like this and then I'll just place this one on top going to front this one also bring to front it is like this and then here also we need this uh, again uh, replace this 350 also again I'll go back to this uh, what you call this uh, component and then detail and this uh, I'll place this uh, 350 section and we'll place this one here there and then uh, what we need to do is we need to place the window so we don't have a window yet so we're going to create the window okay guys uh, that's it for today and uh, i'm so sorry i need to cut the video because uh, the topic of this uh, stand alone detailing is very long and we're going to continue again tomorrow thank you for watching guys uh, see you again tomorrow Allah Hafiz. till we meet again bye bye